Once many years ago, there lived a man named Jonah. He was a Hebrew and an Israelite. He was also a prophet who loved the Lord, and many people came to him for advice and teaching. He loved his nation. One day, God said to Jonah, Go to the city of Nineveh what? and give them a message from me. Tell them they are a bad city, and I am planning to punish them for being so bad. Jonah did not want to go to Nineveh. The people there were enemies of his people. So instead he tried to run away from God. He went down to the harbor and got on board a ship. The ship sailed towards a faraway place in the opposite direction from Nineveh. But God was watching him. God sent a fierce storm. The sailors were very scared. They knew the storm was so unusual it must have come for a special reason. The sailors thought someone on the ship must be the cause of the storm. They tried to figure out who was to blame. Soon the sailors decided that the man to blame for the storm was Jonah. So they came and knocked on his door. Wake up, they cried. Why are you not praying to your God? Jonah knew the storm was his fault and confessed, I am a prophet of God. I have disobeyed him and am running away from him. The storm is my fault, said Jonah. Throw me off the ship. The sailors did not want Jonah to die, but to spare their own lives, they threw him overboard. Immediately, the storm stopped. But God was not finished with Jonah. God sent a great fish which scooped Jonah in his mouth and swallowed him. Jonah thanked God for rescuing him from the depths of the sea and promised to do what God wanted in the future. Three days and three nights went by, and then God told the great fish to go near land and spit Jonah out. He landed on the sand and walked up the beach amazed and thankful. When God told him once more to go to Nineveh, this time he did what God wanted and set off at once. He walked up and down the streets of the great city of Nineveh, shouting, God is angry with this city. If you do not stop being so bad, God will destroy you all. You have forty days to make up your minds. The king of Nineveh was a wicked man, but when he heard what Jonah was saying, he knew it was a message from God. This man is a prophet of God, thought the king. We'd better do what he says. The king of Nineveh took off his royal robes and put on old sackcloth garments to show how sorry he was for being so wicked. He gave a royal order. Everyone in Nineveh must stop doing such bad and unfair things, he demanded. Everyone in the city turned away from their wicked ways. When God saw the people of Nineveh had listened and stopped doing bad things, he decided to forgive them and not punish them. When Jonah heard this, he was very angry. These people are my enemies. I don't want you to spare them, he complained. Why do you have to be so kind and loving and caring all the time? Jonah went out of the city and sat down to watch. He was sulking and still hoped God would destroy Nineveh. He made a shelter with some sticks, which wasn't much use. God wanted to teach Jonah a lesson about love and forgiveness. So he made a plant grow very, very quickly, and soon Jonah was sheltered and shaded under a mass of leaves. Angry Jonah calmed down to relax in the shade of this plant. <sighs> ah, very nice, he said. Just what I needed. But that night, God made a worm come along. This was a super worm with an enormous appetite. It ate the stem of the plant and down fell the leaves. The next day, Jonah woke up oh. very hot and bothered. I'd rather be dead than sit here in the sun, Jonah grumbled to God. Why did you take away my shelter? You are angry over a plant that died, a plant you did not create, said God. But you don't care about a whole city of 120,000 people. Don't you think I have the right to care about the people of Nineveh, who I have created and love? Jonah realized how selfish he had been. That's why he wrote about his adventures in the Bible to let us know about the tough lessons he learned. God made and loves us. He wants us to turn to him for forgiveness when we are bad. The city of Nineveh was spared, 
and Jonah went back to his old country. And what a story he had to tell when he got home. You will find the story of Jonah in the Bible's Old Testament. It is a small book in between the books of Obadiah and Micah.